How's it going guys? So today we're back here at the Macquarie Uni Lizard Lab and we're going to take a closer look at a really common species around here, the east coast of Australia, and that is of course the Eastern Water Stink. So in their natural wild habitat you'd normally find these guys living in and around waterways. And that's basically what gives them their common name. However, these guys are super adaptive and they're actually in most people's houses, around in their gardens, and just in suburban areas. They're absolutely everywhere. One of the most common species around you'll find. And these guys are some of the fastest little lizards around. If you've ever tried to catch one, you'll know what I mean. They are just little zooming rockets. They're almost impossible to catch, unless you have one cornered or something. And even then, it's pretty hard. That is what I'd imagine would be one of the main downsides in keeping them in captivity, is that they're really hard to catch, so if you're trying to move them to a new enclosure or something like that, it's gonna be a bit of a process to try and catch them. So with such a common animal, they are quite a beautiful little species. You see that golden sort of coloration down their back? They've sort of got a gold stripe that runs on each side of that sort of tanned bronze color down their back. And they have that black line with the spots all over it. They're quite a pretty little animal. So a predator avoidance strategy these guys have is they can actually drop their tails like a lot of skinks. And you can see this one here, it has actually a partially regenerated tail. So this one, at some point in its life, dropped its tail, probably because the predator was attacking it. And then, basically that tail wiggles after it's been dropped off, so the predator goes for that. And these guys can make an escape. And then, later on down the track, they regrow their tails. But as you can see, you can see sort of the break point, right? right there and where it's grown from there it'll never look the same as it once did and it won't grow as long and these guys there's actually some weird ones you can see out in the wild sometimes they actually depending on how the tail broke off originally can actually grow back weird like sometimes they can grow two or three tails in that one spot they're not the most common species to find in captivity for sale but you can find these guys in captivity there is quite a few little breeders of them these guys actually give birth to live young and they are they come out just like little mini versions of the parents so here in captivity these guys eat a wide variety of different things but here we mainly feed them dog food and insects today's dog food feeding day and absolutely doing nuts for it they all run to the bowl and start feasting Yeah, these guys also love their live insects and a bit of vegetation. They're quite an omnivorous. <laughs> They're just hilarious to watch running around with their food. So, yeah, quite easy to feed. Quite fun to watch. Especially when feeding insects. So these guys are very fast lizards. So when they're zooming around trying to catch crickets and whatnot. Very fun to watch. These guys are kept in groups here at the lab and they get on quite well together. If you're going to get some for yourself and your own collection, I would suggest you do keep them in a group because they do interact with each other quite well. I just probably wouldn't keep two males together. That's the general rule for having any sort of species of reptile. So these guys are very adaptive and a very hardy species, so they do great in both indoor and outdoor enclosures. If you live somewhere where these guys naturally occur or somewhere close, then you should probably get them outdoors if you can because they'll love that sunshine and they'll just do great out there. So here we have some typical enclosures for these guys here at the Lizard Lab in these outdoor tubs. So but the basic idea of them is you've got a round tub they can't climb out of, they've got a bunch of hides in the form of those stack tile sorts of things We've got the large water bowls that they can get into with the tile in there as well so they can't so they can't drown and they can easily get out and then of course we have the food dishes as well and today is actually dog food feeding day so what we do here is put the bowl in there's one right there hiding out and then we get a scoop of some of this nice food for them put that on there and hopefully they will come out and start eating it yeah so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video give it a like if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more australian reptiles i'll be doing more of these species special videos in the future until then i'll see you next time